All right, Hashim, welcome to the Shonen Jump One Piece panel. What was that? <laughs> woo, <laughs> that was woo. My name is Uriah Brown. I am the panel commander. I am also a staff writer at Shonen Jump and the podcast commander there and the editor of a couple manga, Hunter Hunter and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Wow, thank you, thank you. And let's all introduce ourselves, starting with... Hello, great readers of America. I'm Sasaki from Shuyusha, former editor-in-chief of Shonen Jump. Hello, I'm Alexi Kirsch, the English Shonen Jump editor for One Piece. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming. I'm Kes Kes Yoshi from Toei Animation. Thank you. Uh, hi, I'm Stephen Paul, and since the start of the digital version of uh, Shonen Jump, the weekly version, I've been the translator for the One Piece manga. Hi, everybody. I'm Josh Kosherak. I am the brand manager for One Piece at Funimation Entertainment. Hi, <laughs> えー、Bandai Hey everyone, my name is Koji Nakajima from Bandai Namco Games. I am the producer of the One Piece video games. Good to see everyone here. Oh, also, happy 4th of July. America. All right, let's talk about something very near and dear to my heart, Shonen Jump manga. Who here is a Shonen Jump subscriber? Raise your hand. After the panel, come up for your free hug. <laughs> Shonen Jump is 48 issues a year of digital manga. It comes out the same day Shonen Jump in Japan does. If you subscribe for the low price of $25.99, you get four Yu-Gi-Oh cards mailed to you. And these are Yu-Gi-Oh cards that you get before they're actually available to buy on the street. So, any Yu-Gi-Oh fans? <laughs> Represent. These are all the current series running in it. Some are, it's kind of an interesting American version of the Japanese Shonen Jump, because some of these are from the monthly Shonen Jump, and some are from the weekly Shonen Jump, and other of the Shonen Jump family. So it's sort of like a best of in, in some ways. What else, Alexi? What else happens for Shonen Jump? Well, we're always a rotating series. As, as one series ends, we pick up a new series that just starts in Japan. So it's really a great way to be uh, current with what's going on in Japan. That was good. Next slide, please. And we've got some show specials here. If you become an annual member, usually it's $25.99, but for the whole month, it is $19.99. And you, this, you can go home and subscribe, not actually at the show, anywhere you have the internet. So you still get the four Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Just enter that code, which is on our website. Also, right now, at the Viz Media booth, you can buy the Jump Pack, which is kind of a print sampler of the digital magazine that comes with a three-month subscription. And you get that game mat, which can be used for any dueling card game you want or for your mouse pad. It's, like, it's really big. And you also get the, the card, the Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Evening Twilight. All for 20 bucks right now at the Viz Media booth. And you'll get a free bag because you bought something. You, you'll, get, you'll be the first to get the Black Luster Soldier card, right? It's brand new. Brand new. And also, right, right now at the booth, you can get booth 1601, a limited edition, one piece reproduction piece of art. And these sell out fast. These sell out like within 20 minutes. So if you want one of these, get there like 10 o'clock in the morning and you know, elbow your way in line to get one because this is uh, pretty interesting. It has all the actual scribble notes from uh, Oda Sensei. So a limited edition reproduction, high quality piece of art there. And you also get a free bag if you buy it. So good stuff. And now I'm done uh, trying to sell you stuff. So let's talk about One Piece. We have a lot of different, different players here from the One Piece franchise, manga, anime, and video games. So 
we're all just gonna sort of talk about different facets of it. Let's start with the manga, and let's start with Sasaki-san, former editor-in-chief of Wiki Shonen Jump Japan. Let me ask you this hard question here. When One Piece was first pitched, did you ever imagine it would become such a worldwide phenomenon selling 300 million copies? Well, uh, the sensei was really good, uh, even when he was, uh, before his debut as a pro mangaka. And uh, it was obvious that he was good enough to be serialized. But uh, we never thought he was this good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody. I don't that. think nobody, anybody, anybody, anybody thought that he would be this good, except himself. <laughs> yeah, he he always believed in himself, and I think it's a very great uh, stuff for the uh, manga artist, mangaka. And let me ask you this: Can you give us a little bit of sort of behind-the-scenes perspective on how the One Piece manga is made? Uh, this part's a little complicated, so he's going to speak in Japanese. It's not, not just limited to Oda Sensei, but any serialized manga artist has to work in incredibly hard to get the manga done each week. For Oda Sensei, each week he goes about three to four days without sleeping as he comes up with the story. Wow! The ま、ご先生、6人ぐらいのアシスタントを使ってらっしゃるんですけれども、えっと、ネームがなかなかできない時はですね、まだネームができないうちにアシスタントさんを呼んでしまうんですね。そうやってアシスタントさんを周りにが
That would be the ultimate terrible spoiler of all time, huh? <laughs> okay, next question. How do the American fans here at Anime Expo compare to the ones in Jump Festa in Japan? Is there any major differences? Well, both are very enthusiastic, and uh, I love both Japanese and American fans. But uh, as uh, cosplayers, I think American cosplayers are more stylish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, turn the discussion to the, uh, the editors and the people who make the U.S. version of One Piece. Alexi, take it away. So I'm going to talk about the, the process. Now, weekly manga is tough. There's deadlines always coming. You can't fall behind. You can't work ahead. You're just in a bind. And then once you're finished, we don't have any time to celebrate. It's like the next, next deadline is already there. Obviously, some manga are harder to edit than others. Yurai and uh, Hunter x Hunter is super easy, right? No, not, not <laughs> since it restarted. There's a lot of talking, and the more talking, the more time it takes. Bleach is almost no talking, right? So you just whiz through that one. <laughs> Nowadays, it's just like fight. So we, we generally have to have the translators work over the weekend. They never get a weekend off unless, unless the manga is off. And then uh, we come in to work on Monday and edit it and then get it to the letters and they generally have about 24 hours to get the, the English in. Then we route the, uh, the issue, com combine all the chapters and all the editors review it and uh, finally it's up and then immediately we start on the next issue. One piece should be difficult because it's so wordy but uh, Steven does such a good job that it's like, I don't, I don't even have to do anything. Stephen, are there any uh, challenges to translating One Piece? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, not just in terms of the the overall workload, like the you know the number of sentences you have to work with, but also uh, Oda Sensei has just like an incredible sense of character writing. Like there are so many different voices in the series. Um, like probably you know he he is more attention to detail in that regard than almost any other mangaka whose work I've, I've worked on. So uh, there's a lot of attention to detail necessary and he loves to, to just throw in wordplay and little uh, language jokes in there. And so I often have to you know, try to come up with an analog that works in English uh, kind of the same way that it does in, in Japanese. So it is, it's hard, but it's really rewarding to, to get it right and to feel like you know, you're really preserving the way it reads in Japanese. Oh, good answer. If some, if something is vague in the Japanese, we really need to keep it vague in the English because yeah. you don't know if, like, thirty volumes later, yeah, that's what is going to use that line. And he he loves to do that too. Like, I've definitely torn out a few hairs. Just like, what does this mean? You know, trying to sort of hedge my bets, like, <laughs> try to cover all possibilities because uh, you know he's going to pop up with something later. He'll also end a chapter with a character saying another a brand new character's name. And uh, yeah. in Japanese, there's not an issue with uh, like gender right. pronouns, but right. in English, we, we don't want to say like he or she because we don't know the gender of the character. Yeah. So, uh, Wasn't that, I, like, I think I remember back when they mentioned Dadan, Luffy's like s sort of stepmother in a way, like did, nobody knew if that was a, a man or a woman, they just said Dadan, and so if you had to use a gender pronoun, what it do you, you don't like know until they show up? It sounds like a male name to me. Yeah, yeah. Omoshiroi. <laughs> Since you guys have been such a good audience, I feel like we should give you some kind of prize right now. I'll take care of this question. How, this exciting 300-piece, one-piece puzzle can be yours if you answer this question correctly. Now, whoever raised their hand first is the one I'm going to call, OK? What year did the first volume of the One Piece come out in America? Uh, you, <laughs> I, think, I think the law hat back there. Yes. You know, I have no idea, but here. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Good job. Dozo. 
Do you want more questions? Uh, no, I think we're good. We'll keep moving. So uh, we wanted to ask the panelists who their favorite uh, One Piece characters were, uh, starting at the bottom. Obviously, my favorite character is the character that I'm dressed as today, which is Peppo. Peppo. Uh, I know I've said this plenty of times, but I am a huge fan of Brooke. So if there are any Brooks out there, there we go. Um, I, I am the oldest of five siblings, and I never had an older sister, so my favorite is actually Robin. Whoa! Uh, I like Zoro the most. <laughs> now I'm trying to be training to, to be like him. You know, lately my favorite character is Moosey. Yeah. And, uh, I really want uh, Luffy to let uh, Usopp be the captain, and Luffy can go off with uh, Moosey and have an adventure. <laughs> okay, my favorite character is definitely Luffy, because <laughs> yes, he is the heart of this, he is the heart of One Piece. And I like Usopp. <laughs> he keeps stealing the show over and over, randomly. Okay, next. Uh, next slide. Let's go. Oh, you want? What about the devil fruit question? Oh, sorry, I didn't say it. Okay, what's your favorite devil fruit and why? The very end. <laughs> the cosplay, cosplay fruit. Uh, Suke no mi desu ka ne? Ano, ri wa kikanai kudasai. <laughs> the uh, the one that you can see through uh, see through clothes. See through double fruit. Please do not ask for any reasons. We will not answer. So, I think we can all agree that Kelly Funk has the best devil fruit power. <laughs> the jacket jacket fruit. <laughs> I think if I could have any, if I could have any power, I would want Oda Sensei's uh, sleep sleep power to be able to have like three hours of sleep a night and still function as a human being. <laughs> um, I like uh, Mera Mera no Mi. I had trouble getting uh, down here from San Francisco, so any uh, fruit that would help me fly, like a string string fruit. <laughs> Was that what? I don't know. Door 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 Gum gum fruit would be would be best because it's Luffy's power. I like the art art fruit. It's because that's so weird. <laughs> I don't know why I'd use it, but it was, it was it was cool. All right, what's this one? So we're gonna talk about what's currently happening in the One Piece manga. Uh, if you're an anime only <laughs> viewer, you might wanna like look away or close your ear. Or, close your ears. Yeah, <laughs> close your. <laughs> Tone of silence. Um, so, the last, the Punk Hazard arc ended with Luffy and Trafalgar Law forming an alliance, and their their first uh, first uh, goal was to try to defeat Doflamingo, who's been kind of behind the scenes doing a lot of bad stuff lately. They had to dress dress Rosa, which is crazy island. Yeah, Spain, like a crazy. It's like a they got toys and dancing. Delicious food. Is there jealous women that will cut you up too? You got to be careful. Stabby women. <laughs> Stabbing women. <laughs> so uh, they get there, and uh, Doflamingo has a trap set for Luffy, trying to lure, lure him into a tournament with the flame flame fruit. Stephen, what happened after that? Um, well, 
First, I want to point out, isn't it amazing that it only took 70 volumes for a series that was, ba that was inspired by Dragon Ball to finally have a fighting tournament? <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, so the, uh, the Coliseum has uh, quite a tumultuous go of it and uh, some surprise people show up. Uh, we see actually more than one people from the past, uh, some familiar faces. Bellamy. Um, yeah, Bellamy was, was one of them. And uh, just all sorts of, of crazy stuff happens. It was, you probably didn't want to be sitting in the crowd uh, during that uh, with all the uh, destruction going on, but. Uh, now you were really lucky that Oda Sensei wrote some of the character names in English on oh, the yeah. page, right? Yeah, all those gladiators, there were like dozens of them and he wrote them all out in English, so that made it easy for me. It's amazing he can still come up with that many characters, 70 volumes in. I mean, how many characters has he made? And he's just like pumping them out. Like a million. A million characters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like over 9,000. Yeah. So, <laughs> how did you feel when XXX came back? Spoilers. Well, I, Oda Sensei left us enough hints to know that he would probably be coming back, but the, this point in the story was the last point that I expected to see him because it's such a like I think even for One Piece's standards this arc is off the charts in terms of the amount of stuff going on like there's just so many things happening in Dressrosa and it's almost hard to keep track of and then he just throws in these old characters just to make things even more unpredictable uh, it was uh, yeah it was crazy and then to one up that God Usopp <laughs> Saving the day with the craziest face I've ever seen. Uh, Uriang, could, oh, yeah. you, uh, could you give us uh, your attempt at it? I, I, I forgot to bring my big rubber tongue now. I could. <laughs> <laughs> Eyeballs twisting. Yeah, I can't do that face. I'd have to eat like something insane. So, uh, Stephen, what do you think? What, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? Is Luffy um, and Doflamingo, I mean, we expect that fight to happen. It's going to happen. Is there yeah. going to be a surprise? I think there's still a little ways to go before it actually happens. Because if you look back at, you know, things like uh, an Alabasta when Luffy fought Crocodile, like there's a couple stages and they'll fight and then they'll, you know, get separated, stuff will happen and then, you know, they'll fight again. So I don't think we're quite at the climax yet, but uh, there's definitely, there's going to be a brawl going down between them. Good answer. Okay. Let's move on. Still, oh, we got a whole bunch of good One Piece stuff you can buy. Tell them what it is, Alexi. So, uh, the volumes are continuing to come out. Volume 72 comes out in September, I believe. Last uh, holidays, we came out with the first box set, which went up to uh, volume 23, I think. The next box set, 24 through 46, comes out this holiday. If you want some One Piece stuff this weekend, it, and uh, have some money lying around, go to the Anime Pavilion booth, buy some manga, actually it doesn't have to be One Piece related, but if you buy uh, $20 worth, I, yep, I could be bucks. wrong, you get uh, the One Piece Luffy uh, poster that we have up there. If you buy Rest $20 of Viz Media stuff, you get the free One Piece poster. It's a pretty good deal. Yeah, I want one. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have the money. Okay, let's move on. That concludes the manga section. We're now going to turn it over to Funimation. Uh, sorry, before we do that, how about we give away some prizes? Okay, he wants to give away prizes. Yeah. He's a generous man. You know, you kind of took the thunder out of my questions by asking one that's a lot harder than mine. Come on, say. So, uh, question number one: uh, Raise your hand, and you, Ryan, you'll, you'll call on the. Okay. Let me get my. What devil fruit did Luffy eat when he was a kid? Uh, I don't know. Uh, the guy in the black shirt with the, with the skull, crossbones flag. Correct. You, you call me a dum-dum? <laughs> All right, next question. Okay. Name the Straw Hat's current ship. Oh, red, red right there. Yep. Correct. Correct. All right, one more. A little harder. Name Luffy's two brothers. Um, Chopper waving her arms frantically. What was that? There you go. Correct. Those are hard questions, huh? Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, we'll have more questions after uh, Funimation's portions. Let's move on. All right, thank you very much. So, uh, yeah, thanks for uh, inviting me over here. I'm just going to, you know, let you guys know what we have going on for One Piece. And uh, we have a couple trailer debuts, so you guys will get a uh, first sneak peek at some of the stuff we have coming out. But first, I uh, just need to plug a couple things going on this weekend. So if you haven't been by the Funimation booth yet, please stop by. Uh, we're at 1201, right next to Sentai. Uh, we have events going on all weekend long, autograph signings. Uh, if there are any Space Dandy fans out there, we have the Boobies waitresses uh, that you can come by and get your picture taken with them. Uh, and then we have panels and premieres uh, all weekend. So we have Dragon Ball Z, Terran Resonance, Tokyo Ghoul, Space Dandy, Hal, and Bayonetta. So just uh, look in your schedule for those, and we'd like to see you come out. And then uh, we also have our Funimation industry panel, and that's going to be going on tomorrow night. Thanks. All right. Who watches One Piece on Toonami? Yeah, there we go. Cool. So yeah, it is, it is on Adult Swim uh, every Saturday night at 11.30. And uh, I think we're, yeah, we're getting ready to go into Ina's lobby and it's getting really good, guys. So let's keep on watching. Next slide, please. All right. And we have our simulcast. Who's simulcast watchers out here? Yes, yes. So we are also uh, right in the middle of Dress Rosa, so uh, seeing the uh, backstory of Rebecca and Soldier San and everyone like that getting into the tournament. So uh, you can watch that every Saturday at uh, the One Piece official website or wherever you can watch Funimation shows, whether it be our website or on our apps and things like that. And we have the episode up and going one after, well, sorry, one hour after it airs uh, in Japan. So. Cool. And now we have, uh, I'm going to go over some of our home video releases. So uh, we have the One Piece collections. Those are the 24 episode uh, collections that we put out uh, with both dubbed and subbed on there. And they are always loaded with extra features. So the next one coming out is going to be collection 10, which has Frankie on it. And uh, that's coming out September 23rd. All right. And we are finally, finally coming to Thriller Bark. So uh, One Piece Season 6, Volume 1 uh, will be available September 30th. And uh, we actually have the trailer here for you guys. And uh, you'll be the first ones to see it. It's nice we got out of the storm and all. It shouldn't be night yet, right? This is it. And remember? The Sea of Ghosts. Did you see that? There's a singing skeleton on that ship! We're drawing straw to decide who stays here and who goes on the creepy ghost ship with Luffy. I wonder if he sings, what else can he do? Will you join our crew? Uh, huh? Yes, certainly. What is this thing and why is it on our ship? Isn't he funny? <laughs> this is the ghost island that wanders throughout these seas. They call it Thriller Bark. So uh, yeah, be on the lookout for the cast announcement. Uh, for that, we'll be unveiling who's voicing Moria and Perona and everyone else uh, in the coming weeks. So, and uh, One Piece film Z. So <laughs> yeah, uh, that will also be coming out at the end of September, and uh, we're extremely excited for that. So um, I just uh, we're going to be premiering it actually at Otakon. So anyone attending Otakon uh, will be able to see the premiere there. And uh, I am extremely excited to show you guys this trailer. Uh, I think it's probably one of the best ones that we've ever done for One Piece. So uh, let me know what you think. And uh, here you go. Actually, wait. <laughs> uh, the slide's mixed up. 
Um, this is the cast announcement, so let's go through that. So uh, we have the uh, returning Straw Hats, of course, and everyone that's been cast before. Uh, you know, Brian as Garp, Edison Goku, and then we have uh, the new members. So uh, playing a Z or Zephyr is Jeremy Schwartz. Uh, Ayn is being played by Lauren Landa, who is also, you might know her from Attack on Titan, playing Annie. Uh, we have Matt Mercer playing Benz, and then for Kizaru, we have Ray Burns, right? Yeah, Ray, I'm sorry, Ray Hurd there. So uh, yeah, they'll be joining uh, the crew and everyone else, and uh, they did an excellent job. And now you can hear <laughs> what they sound like. Thank you. Everything in this world, one piece. Imagine all the things that have been sacrificed for such a foolish dream. If this is what their era means, I will crush these things without remorse. I hate to say it, but it looks like you picked up trouble again. For one, he's covered in scars. <gasps> Luffy, look! He's waking up! See? This is... Volcanic ash. It's just if it turned out that you were with the Marines, things could get ugly for the both of us. <laughs> because we're pirates, of course. <gasps> Don't make me laugh, boy! I am the Vice Admiral of the New Marines. As you can see, our fleet has surrounded your ship. Do not resist. Attempting to do so will only invite your death. You say to Throw everything away for your dream? Yeah! Does that include the lives of your crew? I can see it straight ahead! This is the final stage! Let's clear a path! Let's see you survive this! Here we go! You think you can be king of the pirates? Goosebumps. All right. Yeah, so we'll be putting that up on uh, YouTube early next week so you guys can uh, please share it with everyone you know. I think that's it. Uh, recently, a character was introduced named Pika who has a, uh, like a hilarious voice. Yes, yes. Once we get to yeah, that what point. Are you, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm hoping that we can cast someone that we're not going to have to adjust their, their uh, voice in post-production. So... Yeah, I'll be interested to see what they sound like. <laughs> All right, thank you, and let's move it on to Bondi Games. How about we... Uh... Do this again, you do this <laughs> twice. Last time you get away with this, okay? Go ahead. Okay. He wants to give you prizes, I don't know what his problem is. All right, a few more questions. This one's a little more difficult. Who are the current four emperors? Yep, oh, I saw a straw hat there. That sound right? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Sounds right. All right, one more. Which Straw Hat member currently has the lowest bounty? I saw the guy in the red, red, uh, red shirt. Correct. <laughs> All right, let's move on to Bondi. え、じゃあ、え、ゲームの、え、紹介させていただきます。え、ま、先ほど、え、自己紹介したんですけれども、え、バンダイナムコの中島です。え、普段、え、僕はあの加工でオフィスで仕事しています。So <笑> this is just uh, another self introduction. We uh, briefly introduced ourselves earlier, but this is Koji Nakajima from Bandai Namco Games. Uh, we are here to introduce you to our latest game, and the outfit that you see in the picture is what he usually wears to the office. はい、え、次にお願いします。ネクスト。はい。え、これまでえ、ワンピースのゲームはですね、え、日本に限らず、え、全世界でたくさんのタイトルをえ、発売させていただきました。We've worked on uh, several One Piece games in the past. Uh, hopefully, you've already been uh, familiar with a few of them, but these have been released worldwide, and we are pleased to release another one. 
えー、その、えー、最新作が、えー、今日、えー、ご紹介する、えー、ワンピースアンリミテッドワールドレッドになります。The latest game being、uh, One Piece Unlimited World Red. Right here.、えー、今日は、えー、皆さんにお見せす。トレーラーをご覧ください。Please look, take a look at the trailer. 考え直せ、麦わらや。何か裏があると考えるのが普通だ心配すんなってリンゴをぶっ飛ばすチャンスじゃねえか<笑>よく来たな野郎どもこのリングの上では身分は関係ねえ俺は誰の挑戦でもいけるぞ気を楽にしろすぐに終わるわらわら何をしようと許される行くぞやるどもうにゃー俺とお前では海賊の格が違うもっとより命などくれてやる腹じゃい力に屈した男に生まれた意味はねえだろ海賊という悪を許すな恐れるに足らん俺は白ひげだお前の力見せてもらおうか雑魚は雑魚なりにあがいてここまで来たようだがそいつもおしまいだ悪はいいか報じられたあんた方の同盟の件でお聞きしやす返答によっちゃ逮捕しなくちゃならない俺たちに上下関係はない記事通り共鳴だお前を倒して俺たちが優勝するんださてお二方王になるのさ海賊の王にな奴の別名はココーのレッド奴はたった一人でロジャーや白ひげと渡り合っていたということだ今一度我が名をこの世に知らしめん我らの旗印となってもらおうか麦わらの一味新たな野望の第一歩だ好きだろ抜き切っててめえかこんなふざけた戦いを仕掛けてきやがったなおかげで素晴らしいものが手に入ったのかこれから我の歩む道は修羅の道だ我には仲間などおらぬただの一人もなやめてくれおやっぱお前はうるさねえ久しぶりだな麦わら思う存分リターンマッチを楽しもうじゃねえか目的を達成するには情けも甘さも捨てねばならんお前は何も分かってねえたまには本能に従ってみろおいら分かったんだおいらの親分の役に立ちてえさ仲間として一応俺たちが切り開いてやる修羅の道に貴様は必要ないたった一人でも海賊王となってみせる俺は死ぬまで夢を諦めねえ海賊王になるのは俺だはいえー、今作、えー、なんですけれども、えー、ゲームの、えー、オリジナルの、えー、ストーリーを、えー、採用しております。So in this game we are using a game exclusive original story. 伝説の海賊であるレッドという海賊強いキャラクターと麦わらの一味との戦いがゲームで描かれます。In the game a battle between a legendary pirate named Red and Luffy is illustrated. そのレッドとですね物語の鍵を握るパトというキャラクターは小田先生に書き下ろしていただきました The character Red as well as another character、uh, who is named Pato who sticks around by Red's side is、uh, designed for us by a c h i r o Oda himself Next はいえー、ゲームの、えー、説明になるんですけれども、えー、もちろん、えー、今作、えー、麦わらの一味を、えー、操作して、えー、楽しむことができます。To tell you a little bit about how the gameplay works,、uh, of course, all of the Straw Hat crew will be playable, so you can choose your favorite Straw Hat character. 
えー、ですので、えー、ぜひ、えー、皆さん今日来て、えー、くださった、えー、コスチュームを着てですね遊んでもらえるとより楽しいと思います。So please, please, when you、uh, have a chance to get a hold of this game,、uh, try playing with the character that you dressed as today. <笑> Next. <笑>はい、えー。でゲームの、えー、ジャンルになるんですが、えー、今回は、えー、アクションアドベンチャーというジャンルで。えー、ユーザーがですね、えー、麦わらの一味の、えー、冒険を、えー、自分の手で、えー、楽しむ、えー、ことができるゲームになっています。For this game, we decided to pursue the action adventure、uh, genre in order to let players、uh, fully experience、uh, the One Piece、uh, sensation of adventuring with their own hands. はいえー、冒険の舞台もですね、えー、原作に、えー、登場した、えー、アラバスタでありますとか魚人島を、えー、リアルに、えー、再現しておりますので、えー、また、えー、ゲームを遊ぶとですね、えー、新しい発見が、えー、あるんではないかなと思っています。Islands that appear in the original One Piece story, such as Alabasta and Fisherman Island, also appear as stages in this game. So、uh, hopefully, your favorite scenes will be able to、uh, reappear again in the game. で、えー、冒険を、えー、進めていくとですね、えー、立ち塞がるのは、えー、もちろん、えー、数々の、えー、ボスキャラクターになります。As you progress through the game, of course,、uh, many boss characters will stand in your way. えー、これまで、えー、作品に、えー、登場した、えー、こちらにはクロコダイルが出てますけどもさまざまな、えー、キャラクターが、えー、出てきて、えー、麦わらの一味を、えー、苦しめますのでこのボスとの、えー、戦いが、えー、ゲームの、えー、面白さでもあります。Characters from the past in order to stand in to in your way.、Uh, hopefully, you will be able to enjoy fighting them once again. で、えー、さらにですね、えー、トレーラーの冒頭にありました、えー、バトルコロシアムモードというですね、えー、バトルに特化したモードも、えー、今作に入っております。Additionally, as you saw in the beginning of the trailer, there will be a new mode called the Battle Coliseum mode. じゃデモを、えー、ご覧いただければと思っております。Please take a look at this、uh, demo footage about the Battle Coliseum mode. Ready? Fight! Sabakuno s e n t o r The Battle Coliseum mode is strongly emphasized around the whole aspect of battling in one piece. And so the objective is to complete battles within a certain set of requirements. メインのストーリーモードは麦わらの一味を操作するんですけれどもこのバトルコロシアムモードではメインで出てきたボスキャラクターも操作することができます。操作できるキャラクターには、えー、最新エピソードの、えー、ドレスローザ編から、えー、ドフラミンゴや、えー、フジドラといった、えー、最新のキャラクターも、えー、楽しむことができます。えー、このモードはですねバトルに特化しているので、えーまあ、相手を攻撃しながらこういったカットインが入った派手な技をが繰り出されます。でえー、さらに、えー、今回は、えー、集団の、えー、バトルになっているんですけれども、えー、もちろん、えー、1対1の、えー、バトルも、えー、存在します。さらには、えー、今、えー、キャラクターが交代しましたけれども。えー、複数の、えー、キャラクターを、えー、切り替えながら、えー、楽しむ、えー、バトルもあります今は、えー、私の、えー、キャプテンであるローガ、えー、ヒ
クロコダイルに立ち向かっています。My current captain of Trafalgar Law is currently fighting against Crocodile. I don't want to watch this. Do you want to see the end? For two hours. <laughs> Thank you. えー、最後になりますが、えーまあ、発売の前の特典として、えー、今ですね日本ではテレビアニメが放映15周年を迎えておりましてその15周年のコスチュームと映画「ストロングワールド」のコスチュームがダウンロードコンテンツとしてついてきます。As some bonuses for getting the day one edition, we have、uh, some costumes to commemorate Japan's 15th anniversary of its anime airing, as well as one costume of Luffy in his Strong World outfit. さらに、えー、ゲームオリジナルですね、えー、ファンには熱い、えー、ルフィとエースが一緒に戦う、えー、限定の、えー、クエストも、えー、ついてきます。Additionally, we have a special quest that we think all fans are going to love. It's where you can use Luffy and Ace together as a team in order to fight、uh, any obstacles in the way. えー、最後にあのゲームの、えー、発売日なんですけれども、えー、7月、えー、8日に、えー、発売されますのでぜひ皆さん、えー、期待して待っていてください。This is available starting July 8th, so please, everyone, we hope you get your hands on it next week. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. You're Ryan, you,、uh, you played this game last week, right? That's right, and it's real good, and I want to give one away right now. PS3 edition. All you have to do is answer this simple question What consoles is this game available for? I saw that, the green goggles. Top hat? Yep. Stand up. Say it loud. Go down one, down one. <laughs> Close <quite> . enough. <laughs> PS Vita, 3DS, Wii U, and PS3. What, what system do you want? There's only. Okay, give her the PS3. All right. And we've got one more to give away. Who is the handsomest straw hat? Well, saw the, the, the fan go up there. Luffy? Sure. <laughs> Remember, it comes out like,、uh, what is it, Monday? Tuesday. Tuesday. So please support this game. There was a long time where there weren't any One Piece games at all, and now we've had the Musou ones. And in this whole one, it's coming out for tons of series, so please support One Piece video games. So we'll have more anime games. Let's,、uh, let's give a out a copy of One Piece Romance Dawn for the 3DS to whoever can answer this tough question. What's the name of Trafalgar Law's pirate crew?、Uh, I saw the, I guess the Trafalgar Law hat guy could probably answer it. The Heart Pirates. Did you say Heart Pirates? Correct. <laughs> All right, to give out the, the we, looks like we have five more prizes, no, four more.、Um, can four people who love and are experts of the tontadas, Uriah, raise your hand and Uriah, call out four and have them、uh, stand by the mic. Who loves tontadas? Raise your hand. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you? You right there, the two Luffy hat, and then you, and then the, the chopper hat, and then your boyfriend, I guess. All come right. Come up to the mic. Come up to the mic. Come up to the mic. You have to say the following sentence like a t o n t a d a would. The, the, Who the, other two I on? the sentence is Is that true, Usopp? Okay, go for it. Is that true, Usopp? <laughs> That's pretty good. That's amazing.、Uh, okay. Next. Is that true, s o m It's pretty good, but 
Tontaras, they kind of replace certain letters with a W, and they don't call Usopp Usopp. So let's see if we can get, get someone. The guy in the front row. Get it to the next level. And the, the one waving the hat. The one waving the hat. Go for it. There you go. Is that Usopp? Pretty good. A little higher. Pretty good. All right, this is the last one. You better bring it. Uh, we got two more. Oh, two more? Is that two who's the one? Oh! <laughs> that was really good. Let's get somebody from over here. You, That's you, the best so the far. White hair. One more. You're, you're waving your hand. There you go. With the headband. Come up. Run. <laughs> don't actually run because I don't want you to hurt yourself, but <laughs> pretend you're, you're riding Tantanas. They're like flying you around. You try it, Alexi. Nah. No, come on. <laughs> you're the editor. You try it. You're embarrassing them. Why don't you just try it? I'm up here. That's like, get to embarrass them. <laughs> Last one. Is that true, Salando? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, let's give these guys a round of applause. Thank you. Hey, whenever you cast the uh, Tantatas, remember these guys, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we're going to hear from Toei Animation. I'm Keske Seoshi from Toy Animation. Uh, our company is uh, uh, producing animation, TV animation, and some movies, and also distributing such films in all over the world. So today, I want to introduce some activity outside North America, because I think you, you guys don't have much opportunity to know what's happening outside the USA. So, the first one is Universal Studio Japan. Uh, now we have live action stage at the Water World in Universal Studio Japan. So, um, as you can see, uh, in the original story, uh, like, uh, for example, unfortunately, Ace was dead, but you can see, you can still see the live Ace moving is there. So now it's so many people coming, so it's quite difficult to uh, get the tickets. So, so if you come to Japan, please uh, go there. <laughs> How fun does that look? Um, it's also USJ, so please go to next. Next, please. So next one is a uh, uh, Mugiwara store. Uh, it's, uh, it's in Taiwan, because uh, Taiwan, uh, the One Piece is quite popular in Taiwan. So uh, Mugiwara store is a, a store only shop only dedicated to the One Piece goods. So the name of Mugiwara store is named by uh, Oda Sensei. And uh, the main concept of the shop is uh, to gather all one piece product in the uh, in the shop, so you can buy any. If you go there, you can buy any one piece product there. So so next one is a. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, it's a uh, Guam is a USA, so <laughs> it's not outside USA. But, so um, now we created uh, one piece room. So there's so uh, three kind of rooms. One is Arabasta and uh, Winter Island and Sri Labag at this moment. So we decorated by you know, character appear that saga and... Uh, um, it's so like you, a good place for a honeymoon. Oh, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you can find, for example, in the, in the storage and in the uh, bathroom, you can find uh, some character there. So. Nami is in the bathroom? Um, <laughs> you can find it. You can find it. <laughs> so you can enjoy uh, One Piece World. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, we are planning something we can do in the United States. So at this moment, we have a One Piece shop at, um, here in Anime Expo. So please come and buy some stuff. So. We have some exclusive stuff like this t-shirt, so
please come to our booth. <laughs> 108. Thank you. So you can buy all that stuff in the shop right there? Yeah. Oh, nice. I like the uh, Tony, Tony Tupper uh, t-shirt. I also went by and I saw they had a giant blow-up piece of meat. It was like that big. It's like crazy, like 15 bucks. Oh, he's got it. Like two of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, <that> <laughs> awesome. Um, <laughs> it's a lot of meat. I think it's sold out, so. Oh. oh. Sell it for 30 now. <laughs> So this is where the, the booth is. <laughs> is that useful? <laughs> it's way back against a corner wall, basically. Oh, whoa, One Piece po or the Shonen Jump podcast. This is something we at Shonen Jump do, Alexi, I, and the other members of Shonen Jump every week. We record it Friday and let, it, let everybody have it on Monday. We review the issue. We talk about Shonen Jump news. And we take questions from fans from the at Shonen Jump Twitter and the survey and other ways. About an hour long. We sometimes drink too much of grog and get silly. But uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So please give it a listen. So the, the one that goes up on Monday will have Sasaki-san, hey. if you can stay awake. Hey. <laughs> Jet lag, right? Yeah. Seriously, do we give out all the prizes? Uh, I think so. Oh. What about your Chuck Norris figure? Sorry, I can't have my Chuck Norris figure. I'm sorry. 